I think Jamaica is able now to use the developing 4G network that Huawei has brought to Jamaica to improve on what we are doing and I believe that this can uh, put Jamaica in the limelight again uh, on a global space. Cardiovascular disease is one of the top five leading causes of death in Jamaica causing approximately 6,500 deaths each year and contributing to over 18 million deaths worldwide. In fact, one of our team members, Donny Vahatton, was diagnosed with athlete's heart, but unfortunately, he cannot afford to do his regular ECG heart monitoring tests that he so desperately needs to stay alive. This brings us to Cardio Pulse Connect. It is a versatile, real-time cardiovascular monitoring system which will include AI analysis, assistive technology for persons with disabilities, as well as emergency response in the case of an extreme case. Why our product? Put simply, we are a cut above the rest. Not only do we have accurate data acquisition and support for multiple users in each household, but we are also affordable and take advantage of AI analysis, ensuring the most accurate results every time. Also, as previously mentioned, in the case of an emergency, help is already on the way. How do you see yourself moving forward in using this to both improve you personally and improve the country? In all fairness, I don't think it was a loss. I think it was an opportunity because we have um, pretty much seven different um, strangers from different backgrounds. You know, we're learning how to like create a team with our dynamic personalities, dynamic everything. And at the end of the day, it's still an opportunity. We learned so much. We got mentorship within the seven day pieces. We got mentorship, and at the end of the day, we had an open mind to know that you know there has to be a loser. And so I don't see it as a loss. I see it as an opportunity. We're open, like so much more and so us, and we're able to like. Learn, learn so much from the experience. So, you know, it was more of something positive than negative. I don't see it as a loss. Um, I also want to say that we have an opportunity because you have the global tech for the competition where we could resubmit this idea and have the chance to compete it in uh, China next year. Also, there are we received a lot of resources since we've been here because we spoke to um, one of the, the policy makers in the Caribbean and he gave us some connections. Carl Dunn. Yes, so Carl Dunn Samuels and he gave us some connections with persons in the healthcare sector and the research sector who might be willing to help us move our project forward. So even though we didn't win the project here, um, we still have a lot of opportunities to bring it forward here. I want to see this being fulfilled because I can benefit from a first hand experience in that I have a heart condition. Um, so I want to see this um, being brought forward and which is one of the reasons why I really want to see this project even reaching the global stage where we can say that this would be an innovation by Jamaica that will change the entire uh, prospect of the world and allow persons, not just in Jamaica, to use this technology that will just be better for their health. And um, I believe the technology is already out there that can make this happen if we use the materials that can make the device um, uh, in a more concise way, right? Um, what we are putting to the table now is um, better algorithm and um, accuracy to um, the market and so I think Jamaica is able now to use the developing 4G network that Huawei has brought to Jamaica to improve on what we are doing and I believe that this can um, put Jamaica in the limelight again uh, on a global space. And do you think this this machine or whatever it is that you guys are implementing it would be affordable for persons in Jamaica? 
Yes, because using the current technology that uh, we have at our disposal, there is now what is called semiconductors that can bring down the cost of materials. And so Jamaica will be able, because Jamaica uses these semiconductors in a lot of their processing um, innovations. Um, I believe there was one uh, that was used in uh, the treatment for COVID-19 when it just came out for the, um, the oxygen tanks. Uh, right. Yes, there was a, yes the, that technology can be used in our um, device as well. Um, and so I believe that if we put our minds together using these semiconductors, um, these different elements um, to make a device that is very short but still carries the same electrical power, same computing power as the general machine, then I believe that we are able to be one of them.